you talk about enhancing humanity. Uh, you know, I'm curious then about AI, uh, which many people say will lead to great productivity gains. You showed those robots. I mean, I can imagine what they conceivably could do when powered by AI. But I'm also curious, because you've certainly been concerned, what percentage do you give the chance that it will destroy humanity? Well, the, the advent of artificial general intelligence is um, called a singularity because uh, it is so hard to predict what will happen after that. Um, it, but it, I think it's, it's, it's very much a double-edged double sword. I think in, it's, there's, there's, a, there's a strong probability that it will make life much better uh, and that we'll have an age of abundance. Um, and, and there's some chance that it goes wrong. Um, and. Uh, destroys humanity. Hopefully that chance is small, but it's not zero. Um, and so I think we want to take whatever actions we can think of to minimize the probability that AI goes wrong. And you've called for a pause, along with a number of other people. Yes. I, I, look, when I called for the... Yeah, a, friend, a friend of mine, Max Tegmark, is a physicist at, at uh, MIT, um, you know, wanted me to sign on to the letter. And it's, it's like I, I, I knew it would be futile. Uh, it is futile. There's it's never, futile. There's I, I knew it would be futile. I just want to call it like, it's one of those things, well, for the record, I recommended that we pause. Okay. Uh, did, did I think we would, there would be a pause? Absolutely not. Well, <laughs> so, but um, you're, you're starting uh, XAI, I, I think that's what you're calling it, or some new AI effort. Um, well, How is it going to be different than OpenAI or Alphabet? This, this, is, this is not the time to, to uh, this, uh, it's not, I, I, we don't have enough time, and, and, and nor is this the moment to really talk about it. Okay. Um, we, we will have a, a launch event, and, and we'll explore the, the issues uh, in, in more detail. But um, I, I should say that, that uh, and, I, and I mentioned this at the shareholder meeting, that um, Tesla has actually um, a, a tremendous capability in real-world AI. Yes. In fact, it is very far ahead of... Of anyone, any I know people actually on Twitter prior to our interview were saying, you know, he never gets asked about how advanced his AI is at Tesla. You always talk about the other names. Tesla AI is, uh, like I said, by, it's like, is it, there's not, I'm not even sure who's second, frankly. Um, why is that? Why, then what, is, what are people not understanding about what you have and why are we talking so much about ChatGPT and generative AI at OpenAI and what Microsoft's going to be able to do with it and not about Tesla? I don't know. I mean... People do talk about it online. Um, I think I think Tesla will have sort of a chat GPT moment. Maybe the, if, if not this year, I'd say no later than next year. Um, Wait, say that again. I'm sorry. You're going to have a sort of, a sort of chat GPT moment. Oh, you will. In terms of suddenly it will. Yeah, suddenly three million cars will be able to drive themselves right. with no one. Right. It goes back to that. Right. Yeah, and then five million cars, and then ten million cars.